today I'm gonna to go take you out to eat something called Malaseng Guo, which is pretty much a spicy, numbing stir fry hot pot. I'm sure you've heard of Malatang before in Sydney, uh, which is the soup version. This is the dry version and it's really, really tasty. So I'm so excited to show you guys. Keep watching. Hello, uh, my name is Min. I am a part owner of my Salvo Canley Vale. We offer three, three different dishes here, a mala tang, mala bun, and mala chongo. And basically what mala is, is a spicy nummy seasoning. Our main dish here is mala tang. So basically what it is, is spicy nummy soup. How it works is, it's actually a street food. And there's people um, on street just pick what they like to eat. The cook will actually cook it in the soup. And then, uh, and then have the ingredients and then pour the spicy nami soup with it. So that's, that's just basically what mala tang is. Mala shango is basically the same thing as well. So you pick, pick the ingredients, do stir fry. Um, with mala seasoning. Normally, you know, mala shango people usually eat it with rice because it, it is a little bit salty as well. And, and you know, like you know, authentic Chinese um, people love that. What's your favorite out of the three that you Oh, ah, uh, look, I, I gotta say, I, I love the mala shango, man. It's, it's one of those things. I remember when we opened, I went through probably like two, three weeks just eating almost every day <laughs> of mala shango. It's just one of those things I just love. The, the cool thing about mala tang and mala sengguo, when you come to this sort of restaurant, you get to go out here behind me and you get to pick out your own ingredients. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you what my favorite ingredients are. The first thing you're gonna do is you wanna grab one of these empty bowls. And then you have all of these as an option for you to choose from. You can choose from an endless amount of different Asian veggies different types of noodles, more noodles, different tofu, got some mushrooms as well. And we've got meat, we've got frozen seafood, and of course, my favorite, all of the different meatballs and fish balls that you can choose. This is my favorite veggie to chuck in and it's called crown daisy, or in Chinese it's called tongho. So you wanna put some of that in. Maybe a little bit of bok choy as well, just the small ones. These give it a good crunch. Got to have some quail eggs in there. Some enoki mushroom. There's three different noodles that I tend to go for and these are the sweet potato noodles. Um, but what I would usually go for is the thicker ones because I find that the thicker ones are more chewy and I do like a, a bit of a mix between this one here, the thick sweet potato noodles and the mung bean noodles here. If you want to go for something even thicker, there is this one, sliced sweet potato noodles and what you might see is that it's sort of like sheets. So you can see that they're sheets as, it, as they run it through, like sliced sheets. These ones are even thicker and even chewier. So if you do love the chew, that's a really good one to add. Let's add a few. And then we're gonna go with some meats. Um, I believe this is beef, lamb, and pork. I just love getting a mix of the all three different ones. For all of this stuff, usually I would only get, so let's do a bit of tripe there. And some squid. I actually love tripe. And for the grand finale, we're gonna choose some meatballs. Uh, usually I would go for the fish roe balls. Yep. It's shaped a bit like a dumpling, um, but I'll show you what's inside later. It's really nice. Some beef balls. Beef balls there. Might just do some random ones. Usually if you go for the yellow ones, they tend to be good, eh? <laughs> so this is what we're gonna end up with. And then what happens at these shops is you put it on the scale, you weigh it, and then you get a total price. And then you get to choose whether or not you want it to be cooked as mala xiangguo, which is the fried hot pot, or mala ban, or mala tang. Mala tang is the usual one with the soup. Usually what happens here is the chef will then go ahead, go through and chop up the ingredients to make them smaller and easier to cook. So it looks like the ingredients get semi-boiled first, just to cook it up a little bit. Those ingredients there just 
just getting fried up into that wok spike pan with fried chilies, peppers. It's kind of different ingredients there, maybe it's adding it. into a bowl there. Sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. Just some coriander, some nuts. Wow. Wow. You can see all those ingredients that we chose. They're just coated in all these beautiful spices. So what we ordered is mala sangguo. They pretty much took all the ingredients that we chose and they stir fried it with peppercorns, with mala spices, with all this delicious good stuff in a wok. Because they stir fry it in a wok as well, it gets nice and smoky in terms of the flavor. Let's mess it up, man. Oh, look at that. Dude. And all of those fat, thick noodles that we chose, the reason I love them particularly in this, when they're cooked up, because they're fat and sticky and chewy, they actually pick up so much of the flavor um, from what's fried with it in the wok as well. Look at that, have some of the noodles here. And like I was explaining before, these noodles are thicker, so they're very chewy. I love the flavor of all that dried spice, man. Mm. It's such a good texture, man. Hmm. I love woody air fungus because it has a nice crunch to it. Like a soft crunch. Mm. I chose medium spicy, it's still quite spicy. It's spicy, but it's addictive, man. Yum. Mm. Mm. Some of you guys might ask whether or not you need any sauce with this. No, you don't need any sauce at all. If you get malak tang, sometimes you can ask for extra, like, you know, chili oil or sesame sauce to just eat with it with all the ingredients so you can dip it in but this here has so much flavor already inside the bowl inside what's fried with it you don't need any extra sauces at all it's just like a whole heap of umami taste man this is actually my favorite bowl it's a beef bowl mm. here's that fat chewy noodle that we added in before I had that in my soups too. The flavor is incredible, man. Mm. I'm so gobsmacked by how they cooked everything so well together. Like the noodles are chewy, but not too soft. They're not too undercooked. The meatballs are perfectly cooked. The veggies are cooked, but still a little crunchy, which is just how I love them. Like if you're gonna throw everything into um, a pot, or in this case, a wok with boiling water like this, how do you cook it all so well together like to make it all perfect? It's crazy, right? I showed you guys the two veggies that I got before. Hong ho and bok choy are my absolute two favorite vegetables to add in. I know a lot of people like to add extra cabbage as well and that's great, but I don't know, like tong ho has this really nice, not bitter, but like just a really nice flavor to it. I love this vegetable so much that my family, when they used to cook like soup for dinner, this is what I would request. Um, Tongho soup. Tongho with some fish balls and like so much flavor comes out of the vegetable itself like you just add a little bit of salt onto it. It's nice. Mmm. Mm. There's a uh, meat here. This is another great addition on top which is tofu, I think dry bean curd wrap or roll. Mm. Oh. Spices in this like stir fry are like top class, man. I could stir fry anything in this and eat it. So good. You see how spicy it is, but like the beads of sweat that pull me around my mouth, man. This is that random fish ball that I got. I don't know what it is. Let's have a try. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that at all. 
There appears to be some sort of like lobster mousse inside. Quite creamy, man. My throat is burning, man. Whoa. What is this? I reckon I'm overreaching myself a little bit. This, this actually feeds like two people, man. Oh, Do you know mushrooms? This is a very funny mushroom because as a kid, this was like one of my personal favorites. Like, I would love to eat this with anything. But it would always get stuck in your teeth, you know? Because you get little lines of mushrooms and they'd always get between your gums. Hmm. You hear that punch? <laughs> Here it is again. It's stuck in my teeth. I told you guys, man. It's always stuck in your teeth. This is another random fish ball that I chose. I have no idea what it is. It's gonna be a surprise, right? Wow, it's some sort of like rice, like soft rice cake, just very similar to a mochi. And in between, there's cheese inside, and that's all wrapped around in a fish ball. This is very interesting. I've never had anything like this before. And of course, we have to try this one. This is me and my girlfriend's go-to every single time we go to Malatang. A fish roe ball. So I should bite inside, and what you will see is orange fish roe. Oh yeah. That is delicious, man. Orange fish ball inside. I bet you guys haven't seen a lot of these fish balls that I'm showing you, hey? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed eating my last angle together. It's really good, really delicious, very tasty, um, and just like a very nice flavor in your mouth. If you haven't tried it, come out here and try it, uh, or see whether or not they sell something similar close to you guys. If you do go out to eat it, let me know in the comments below or tag me on Instagram at sydneyfoodboy. If you want to come on some food adventures with me once every week, hit that subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Keep eating. See you in the next one.